What's up guys, Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. We just went to Prim, Nevada for round five of the AMA National Grand Prix Series. And we raced our 2022 KX250X race bike. Um, we just finished up our 250F F XC shootouts a week ago. And I enjoyed this bike so much that I decided to go race it in Prim. Um, and overall, it was a really good weekend. The bike performed as good as I expected it to. And uh, yeah, we delivered with some, some good results inside the top 10 in the Pro 250 class. And we're gonna take you through what kind of what we did with the bike and how it performed out in the track. First thing we did was we used the Dunlop MX-12 scoop tire out back. Uh, Prim is pretty sandy. It's a little hard pack, a little bit of pavement, but for the most part, it's a lot of sand. And so we felt the benefits of the MX-12 would pay off overall. And uh, yeah, we'd say it's a success. Um, the tire worked really, really good in the sand, um, as we expected. And then even on the hard pack, like the truck track and some of like, the motocrossy areas, um, the, the tire actually hooked up really well in a straight line. Uh, we had to be careful under braking. Um, kind of, it didn't want to break, it didn't want to track straight under braking. And if it did break loose under acceleration, uh, it'd break loose quick and in a hurry. But we, yeah, once we got used to it, we kind of paced ourselves, um, tamed it down a little bit in the hard pack sections. We knew uh, if we broke it loose, it wouldn't wouldn't end up good. So uh, we kind of just backed her down in there. But overall, we'd say the uh, tire was a net positive for the uh, the sand and the hard pack stuff. Up front, we ran the Dunlop MX-33. Uh, normally I'm an MX-53 guy up front, but with all the sand that we had in Prim, uh, the MX-33 worked really good. Even on the hard pack stuff, it uh, it worked pretty good. And you can see it's got a little bit of wear, uh, especially for that, that pavement and the heavy braking on the pavement, but uh, overall it worked really good all weekend. Uh, and then we got some nitro mooses front and rear. I like to get flat tires quite a bit, so the nitro moose that prevents that and uh, it you know, lets me ride worry-free knowing I can't get a flat and I, uh, I won't have any problems there. Works connection, we got a whole shot device from them. Um, super simple to install, helps a lot in the start. Also, I'm not the tallest guy, so uh, touching the ground can be a bit of a struggle, but the whole shot device helps that and then helps keep the front end down under acceleration. Got some poly sport hand guards here. Uh, Kawasaki doesn't come stock with any hand guards and for off-road racing, that's a must. We put some poly sport hand guards on for the weekend. Brad Custom Graphics got the front number plate dialed in. We ran a bulletproof designs rear disc and caliper guard. Um, there wasn't too many rocks this weekend, but occasionally, occasionally they'll throw in a, a rock section or two. So we put that on just in case. Um, really, we didn't need it, ended up Ended up not needing it with uh, just not very technical or rocky sections, but it's always nice to have a little extra protection just in case. We put a Pro X rear sprocket on. The uh, the X model comes with a 51 tooth rear sprocket, and for off road and kind of in prim in particular, uh, it's pretty fast. It's a little sandy, but it's fast, and uh, we like to run the 50 tooth to kind of help. We can uh, spread out the gears a little bit run them longer and not shift quite as much and get a little more top speed out of it. We went through two air filters this weekend. Uh, DT1 helped us out with some spare filters and uh, it got us through the weekend. We used one for Saturday and then one for Sunday. Obviously they're pretty dirty. Uh, it's pretty dusty and silty out there, but they got the job done. Um, bike ran great all race long, didn't suck any dirt and still running strong. We don't have it on right now, but IMS, we put an IMS 2.8 gallon tank on loaned to us by the Precision Concepts Kawasaki team. Um, not only can we ri ride and race longer, um, have quicker pit stops, but the uh, we feel the extra the extra weight of that bigger tank helps with the front end and turning. Um, it's a little more emphasis and weight on that front end to get more front end traction. Uh, the Kawasaki kind of like, it's like a light feeling front end in the corners. Um, so putting that extra weight out there helps kind of settle the front end down and uh, it turns a little better with that. And the final piece to the puzzle was the uh, Precision Concepts. They also remapped our ECU. Um, they put in one of their custom maps they've developed with the race team and uh, it helped a ton. You see using the green coupler, it's how they map it. 
and then they reflash the ECU. And it helps a ton with the bottom to mid, especially. Um, the Kawasaki is pretty good on top stock, but uh, bottom to mid, it could use some help. And the, uh, the PC Kawasaki team, they got a really good map for this thing. Um, it pulled really, really strong from the bottom to the mid, and even the top end it was, it was no worse, if not better, um, than stock. So overall, we're really happy with that, that ECU reflash, and that made a huge difference as well. Um, other than that, the bike is bone stock, you know, stock exhaust. Suspension is all stock. We changed a couple clickers, um, ran sag at 106 millimeters. But overall, there's really not much we did to this thing, and there's not much more we would want to do to this thing either. Um, it ran really, really good. Like I said, we got top 10, one of our best finishers of the year in that Fast Pro 250 class. And uh, yeah, the bike never let us down. It worked really, really good for stock bike, and it shows that you know to go racing these days, these bikes are really good, and you don't need to do a whole lot to make them competitive. Um, so yeah, that's a wrap on our weekend. Um, overall success, pulled hole shots, um, really good starts, bike felt good all weekend long, the sand, the hard pack, the truck track, the asphalt, um, yeah, never, uh, never faltered once and it was a good weekend. So thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the next one.